as cities are growing, we're not growing up, we're growing out. We are frankly sprawling more and more and becoming more and more car dependent. 94% of the growth that is expected over the next century is expected to be in developing countries, not in the developed world. The developed world, we're gonna kind of, we'll still grow some, but uh, most of the growth by far is happening in places that haven't yet fully expanded. Shlomo Angel in, at NYU has a lab that has been working on a program called Making Room for Urban Expansion. And they, in Ethiopia, worked with three communities to actually lay out a future street grid. This is such an important strategy to get ahead of sprawl and plan for growth that will, all, will be connected and um, enable things. It's frankly the exact same strategy that Manhattan used in 1811, when you know, the city was only down at the very tip, but they laid out a grid and said, here's how we're gonna grow. They didn't know about skyscrapers. They didn't have to have cars it, it, when they planned, still ambitiously, for growth. We know that growth is coming and we absolutely need to be doing uh, more of that kind of just at least acquiring the, the right of way to be public land for where that street grid will occur and uh, then allowing incremental paving of the roads, delivery of services. Um, they've seen, since they've put in about 570 kilometers that, that where they've acquired the road and or in some cases paved, uh, they've now got 26,000 jobs, 140,000 residents living in uh, where they have put the streets in place. And those folks now are, co are connected. Once you have that grid in place, it allows the farmer can sell off a piece of it, can lease a piece of it for someone to come in and build a building, a home, a business, whatever. Uh, which is a pretty you know, a normal way of doing things, but it's doing it with a clear sense of what is now that public space of the street, what, how that private land gets managed. And it's an alternative to the ad hoc informal way that most slums are being developed, where people are, are coming and just kind of scrounging, trying to, to make um, as best a living as, as they can but which also makes it difficult for that area to grow into a healthier uh, environment that really can provide more services.